locked. Tamara, can I speak to you for a moment? What about? So tell me, um, how long have you been working here? My personnel file is in Dr. Young's office. I didn't mean it like that. I'd like to hear you tell me yourself. Mr. McNamara, I understand you might want to chat, but let me tell you, I have far too much to do. What are you doing, exactly, if I may ask? I'm checking through the medications list, if that's all right with you. I take it you don't wish to help me, so please leave me alone so I can get this done. You don't sound to me like you enjoy your job too much. To which I should also add that I can understand that. It must be hard for you, especially in this hospital. I'm not one of those people who believe it's important that every job has to be a happy one. But? This work has to be done. Somebody has to look after these people and this is my work. And along with that goes discipline, a sense of duty, and a certain degree of toughness as well. Toughness? Yes, toughness. Toughness in relation to others and in relation to oneself. Well, you're probably not completely wrong there, but... Um... Joy is just a passing feeling. There are other, more lasting things. You may think that. However, I believe that the patients would benefit from a more... Um, positive, pervading mood. And you would too. I'd like to continue with my work now, Mr. McNamara. Are you handing out medication to our patients? Correct. Okay, then, for the time being, could you please not give them anything? I want to get a picture of how the five of them get on without medication. And cell five? No medication. You know that the young man is dangerous. Yes, I've already had that pleasure. But despite that, it's important for my work to see my patients in an unaltered condition. You're not asking me then to still go into that cell? A glance through the observation port ought to suffice. Good. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Where's Dr. Young? I'd like to ask him some questions. He's left. He's done for today. Oh, that's not good. But he'll be back again tomorrow? Of course. And you? I'm on night duty now. Ah, I understand. You don't mind if I stay? Do what you want. I have to get going. Catch you later. Can I borrow a pencil and paper from you? Go ahead. Okay, the next time I speak to him, I'm going to use the paper. A sheet of paper. Blank. Those are the fuses for the cell lighting. Okay then. Hello. Remember me? I'd like to talk to you again. Only if you want. If that's not a problem. I'll just stay a while here with you, okay? I've been looking at the files. When you arrived here, you were shouting out loud. Remember? A single word. Okay. I'll show you the word. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> no. No. I'd like to find out what you were doing before you were discovered. Look at the pendulum. Concentrate on its swing. It's... Yes. It's so dark. 
so dark. I'm on my own. I'm... I'm alone. It's dark. How do you feel? Do you know the place where you are? I'm scared. What are you scared of? Of them. I gotta get away. There's a grill. Dark passages. And a wall with a grill. A hole in the floor. I can hear noises. Have you got anything with you? I've got a gun and a crowbar. Where did you get those from? I don't know. There. Footsteps. I gotta get out of here. A crowbar. The tunnel leads back to the ventilator. No, I'm not going back there. There's a grill. There's a grill. The grill is stuck. I'll try the other side first. I've made it. I'm outside. Where? I don't know. It's a fenced area. Near water. But you can't see anyone. Is there anybody else there? I'm scared. They're coming. They're on their way. Somebody's calling. Keep calm. This has already happened. These are just recollections. Who is it? Male or female? A man. I gotta go. I gotta get over the fence somehow. Old gasoline barrels. They still seem to be full. I won't be able to do that. It's too difficult. barbed wire fence. I'll never freaking make it. The barrel's empty. I'll make it. There's a boat.
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's all okay. You're with me in the hospital. You're safe. Hey, can you still hear me? Okay. Okay, you're right. That's enough for today. That was plenty. We'll leave it at that. Just rest. It's late. I'll come back tomorrow. Can I bother you a moment? How can I help you? I've been able to make inroads with one of the boys. Really? With which one? Cell one. He told me about a bunker and a perimeter fence. Has he ever mentioned anything like this in your presence? Anything that might fit in? No, nothing. At least not when I've been around. Could Dr. Young maybe have something to add? Well, you can ask him tomorrow. Yes, I will. Okay, that's it for me today. Good. It's late. And it was really late by the time I got home yesterday. I need to get some rest, and I think our patients do too. Can I bother you a moment? How can I help you? I have to get going. Catch you later. Okay, in case we don't see each other again, uh, till tomorrow then. It's really pretty late. I ought to make a move. This reminds me more of a jail than a hospital. Nobody there. Nobody there. not answering. I'll catch him later, or tomorrow. My god, you're still here. Yeah, I'm clocking out soon. I've about had it for today. Yeah, for you anyway. I got a long night ahead of me. What are you doing there? You a shrink or what? Uh, yes, a psychiatrist. Hmm. And so, how are they doing? Those wackos. Patients. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, you know I'm not allowed to say. Patient confidentiality. You're checking out those kids, yeah? Um... Ah, <laughs> come on, I know you are. I saw them when they came in. Crazy. Ah, uh -huh. it's no good trying to fool you, Mr., um... Miller. Stuart Miller. McNamara. David. Okay, Dave. I guess I'm what enough now. <laughs> Have fun with the wackos, yeah? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs>